Hello, people. Uh, Yoda here. I was having some issues getting Remote Joy to work, and I think I wasn't able to find anything else that had information on it. So I'm going to make my own little video trying to explain it here. All right. Um, the problem for 64-bit users, and I renamed this file in a pathetic attempt to get it to pop over to an exe, but this file is invalid for use as a, as a security catalog. I have no idea what's wrong with it. The 32-bit driver actually has an install, but you can't use that for the 64-bit. So, I'm going to show you what you can do to get around that. First, um, as normal, you'll take your SE plugins, you'll put it on your PSP, and if you already have these things here, um, you'll just add this line to all these texts and then after you do that you restart your PSP hold R to get into the boot menu or what VHS v, VSH menu or whatever they want to call it then you activate and enable the plugins and you'll have to enable all three of the remote joy light plugin and then when you turn on your PS when your PSP is back on again, don't go to USB mode, but put your USB on and you'll get the driver failure sound, which for default is just like a da 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 thing. You may have heard it just now if you were listening carefully. Like here, I'll I'll make it make the noise again. That noise. Anyway. What you do, you go to System Properties, you go to your Device Manager, and we are going to manually install the drivers. And you see, it doesn't have a driver. And if we search automatically, it's not going to find it, but we can go to... See, I've got Remote Joy on my desktop, yeah? So, Desktop, Remote Joy, you can go to the Drivers folder, and then go to the... USB driver 64 folder and it's going to warn you that it's not signed and you can install it anyway also I think this will get around the not being able to use unsigned drivers because we're forcing it to install it manually and if not my computer I've got a little script on it that makes it a waste disable required sign drivers and you can find other programs online that'll do it you can make a script yourself that'll do it or you know every time you boot up your computer you can just hit F8 and hit disable drivers they're all pretty much equally easy I don't ever turn my computer off though <laughs> in fact rebooting the computer so I could finish uninstalling the drivers so I should show you guys how to install them it's the first time I've turned my computer off in a long time. <laughs> anyway, so now that we've got the drivers installed, et voila! Remote Joy works. And of course, you know, you can't make this box too big because the PSP just doesn't look here all. See, it looks all kind of crummy and stuff. I usually keep it about that. But anyway, there you go. And these numbers are from Fraps. But there you go. That's how you do it and how to get drivers on Windows 64 if for some reason. I don't know if other people are even having this problem, but I've looked everywhere on the internet and I couldn't find any installer that would do it for you. And you can't just click and drag these to your, uh, to your drivers folder because then it's not in the registry and I don't remember how to add things to the registry manually so this was the only way I could do it. <laughs> Alright guys, just 